Yine gene şey canlı. Akşama ev var mı? Akşama ev var mı? Evet, GoPro ile ilk çekimim. Arabaya taktık GoPro'yu sonunda. Charlie'den gördüm, Anıl'dan gördüm. Baktım GoPro da işimizi görüyor. Neyse, şimdi nereye gidiyoruz? Austin'e buluşmaya gidiyoruz. Austin'i biliyorsunuz benim eski müşterilerimden. Kendisinin YouTube hesabı var. Vücut geliştirme üzerine videolar çekiyor ama daha çok kendi ağırlığını kullanarak bir vücut geliştirme yapıyordu. Ama artık cimden çıkmıyor anlamadım. <gülüyor> Belki değiştirdi programlarını. Cimde sürekli kendisini zaten görüyorum. İşte bir aralar beraber çalıştık. Bir buçuk sene neredeyse onun videolarını çektim. Neredeyse şu an bir milyon olacak. Ee, biz 500 bin abonedeyken çalışmaya başladık. Güzel de onunla çalışmak ama artık kontentler değişti. Artık bu sefer beraber video çekmeye başladık. Bana chat diyor, Amerika'da chat şu oluyor aslında. Hani böyle sürekli kızlarla takılan, kızları düşürmeye çalışan, kızları etkilemek için elinden gelen her şeyi yapan elemana chat diyorlar gibi bir şey yani benim bildiğim. Eğer Amerika'da daha önce doğma büyüme insanlar varsa onlar daha iyi biliyordur. Ben böyle anladım. Beni chat pozisyonuna soktu. Böyle karı kız muhabbetleri yüzünden. Ve benden taktik vermemi istiyor. Zaten ben yıllardır size taktik veriyorum benim kendi YouTube kanalımda ama Amerika'ya geldiğimden beri yani bunları ara verdim çünkü iş, güç, koşturma öyle hatun taktiği verecek zamanımız çok çok fazla olmadı. Ama bu videoda sizlere Tinder taktiklerini vereceğiz. Austin Bey üzerinden Austin'e soracağız çünkü Austin bunları e-book olarak satıyor. Diyeceğim benim takipçileri bir güzellik yap, bizleri e-bookla uğraştırma, taktiklerini direkt video üzerinden ver. Bakalım Austin Tinder'da neler yapıyor. Şimdi aklıma bir mevzu geldi Tinder deyince böyle videoları çok seviyorsunuz biliyorum. Ben ilk evi aldığım zaman roommate arıyordum. Bir arkadaş geldi tam falan baktım böyle evle ilgileniyor ama ilgilenmiyor gibi de. Tam çözemedim çocuğu sonra çocuk durdu durdu böyle. Ya Hakan bir şey sorabilir miyim dedi. Dedim buyur sor. Ya dedi ben çok merak ediyorum şu Tinder'ını bir açar mısın kaç kızla eşleştim falan. Yani çocuk daha bunu öğrenebilmek için bildiğiniz daha tam adam buraya kadar araba kullandı. Yani 2 saat araba kullandı sırf benim Tinder'ıma bakabilmek için. Sonra demiştim vay arkadaş insanlar ne kadar çok merak ediyor. İşte bu merak aslında birazcık gidireceğiz ama sadece taktik vereceğiz bu videoda. Eğer ilerleyen zamanlarda direkt mesajları görmek isterseniz Austin'in Tinder'ını göstermek istiyorum. Benim Tinder'ım çünkü leş, ben konuşmayı çok fazla bilmiyorum öyle. Ben tipten kazanıyorum, vücuttan kazanıyorum. Ben hay bile yazsam, selam yazsam, hım yazsam, şarap emojisi de yollasam düşüyor arkadaşlar. Ama yani normalde biraz da ağzınızın laf yapması lazım. Ben o konuda kötüyüm. O yüzden Austin'den biraz ders alacağız. Evet şimdi cime geldik. Austin yanımda. Uzun zamandır dediğim gibi kendisini görmüyordum. What's up man? What's up bro? How you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you guys too. Man, because of Austin they know me when I go to downtown. Last night I, I told you right? Yeah, yeah. Like two guys they just came out. They're like, oh I know you're the chat. I was like, am I the chat? Oh okay, yeah I'm the chat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so what are you going to do today for your channel? Today we are going to go through a Chad workout because Okan is known as a Chad on my channel like he just said. So So well, like what is the meaning of Chad? Because they don't know. Yeah. I, I try to describe them but <laughs> you know, I'm not from here. I know, I know what is like Chad. I got you. I got you. So a Chad is somebody who is attractive white male. Oh, Basically. It's, oh, it's me then. Yeah. <laughs> like, he has a sex appeal, he has tattoos, a beard, like you would People say you are looks max. Yeah. So it means that you have improved your looks to yeah. where you get a lot of female attention and guys mm -hmm. like that are called a chat. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I feel that. So we're gonna make video for Austin's channel like chats work out then. Yeah. And yeah. then we're gonna give Austin's secret Tinder advices, right? Yeah, my Tinder secrets. Stay tuned. Yeah. yeah, and then we already make video actually. I show my Tinder messages. But you know, I'm not good at messaging. So yeah, you already know. I gotta so. help him with that. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> Austin is gonna help me, and then he's gonna help you guys too because he's gonna give the best advices for you. So yeah. let's do your video, man. All right, let's do it. Şimdi spordan çıktık arkadaşlar. Antrenmanımızı yaptık. Üç tane mi iki tane mi ne göğüs yaptık. Sırt çalıştık, kol çalıştık ve antrenmanımızı bitirdik. What's up, man? <laughs> What's up, man? What's up? I speak Turkish a lot, so it's sorry okay. about that. It's okay. I'm starting to learn it just by hearing you talk it so much, so. Yeah, it's been a while. You guys yeah. remember, we used to do a lot of videos with Austin, but mm -hmm. we got busy, you know. And mm -hmm. then right now, we're going to make another video together, too. We're Actually, back. Actually, we already did it for your YouTube channel. Yeah. Well, yeah. How was the workout? No, it was good. Okan brought me through the workout. Um, we did upper body. Yeah. It was quick, but it was intense. We got a good pump. And now we're about to give y'all some Tinder tips. Evet, şimdi Austin'den sizlere bazı 
tipler olacak. Yani bazı öneriler olacak. Kızlarla konuşurken şunları dikkat edebilirsiniz, bunları dikkat edebilirsiniz tarzı. Ben zamanında çok önerilerde bulundum. O yüzden kendim yapmak istemedim. Amerika'da olmuş birisinin sizlere bazı şeyleri açıklamasını istedim. Ve Austin'de gerçekten Tinder konusunda artık uzman diyebileceğimiz bir şey. Bir de farklı muhabbet var. Do you know red pill? What was the red pill? Red pill? You want me to explain the red pill? Yeah, just quick. Okay, so the red pill is just understanding female nature. Okay. So understanding what girls do, why they do it, and just basically not falling into the trap that you were taught your whole entire life of mm -hmm. like the Disney fairy tale. So mm -hmm. like being the nice guy and like she wants to, you know, stuff like that. You know, and just understanding how women are from a psychological standpoint. Like the real world, not the movies, not the from TV series, real, right? Real world. Real, okay, yeah. okay. That I like it then because I didn't know what is red pill, but I was seeing on your videos, you're talking mm -hmm. about red pill. So yeah. now I understand. So he has really good experience talking with women, right Austin? Mm -hmm. And Tinder and other applications. So for me, I don't use Tinder. I don't use Bumble a lot. That's another thing. But I show my messages in Austin's uh, previous video. Mm. Maybe you guys see already. If you're not, I'm going to add the card. So you can see my messages. I put like him or like just emojis, <laughs> you know. They see me. If they like me, they text me. That, that's mm. what I do. That's my game. But Austin's game is different. When it comes to Tinder and dating apps, the first tip is to have professional pictures. Okay. That's a big tip, right? A lot of guys Service have- Service film then. No. Exactly, I <laughs> hire Ocon and I brought people onto you yes, to take professional that's, pictures. That's true, that's true. So two weeks ago, I got somebody from you. Yeah. I took his Tinder pictures. Mm -hmm. It was good to our session. Yeah, so good. have professional pictures. No mirror selfies in the mirror. Ocon can get away with it because he's Chad. Keep that in mind. <laughs> but if you're an average guy, you need to have clean, clear pictures that are taken professionally so that you can set yourself apart from everybody else. Yeah. Yani profesyonel fotoğraflar önemli. Çünkü siz yani normal aynadan böyle dümdüz çektiğiniz bir fotoğrafla hani renk uyumuyla alakalı giydiğiniz kıyafetler alakalı kendiniz daha iyi gösterebileceğiniz fotoğraf çektiğinde çok daha farklı sonuçlar elde edeceğinizi şimdiden ben sizlere söyleyeyim zaten. Dediğim gibi çok çok yani 4-5 sene önceden ben bunları zaten söylüyordum sizlere. Hiçbir şey değişmedi. 10 yıl sonra da aynı şeyleri söyleyeceğim. Çünkü güzel fotoğraf çekmek, güzel bir açı yakalamak gerçekten çok önemli. Mesela bazı yüzünüzde kusurlar vardır. O kusurları göstermeden fotoğrafları çekebilir atıyorum burnunuz şuradan daha uzun gözüküyordur anladın mı? Mesela şuradan çekince daha normal gözüküyordur. Mesela buradan çekersin hani kızlar bu taktikleri çok kullanır. So many cars. Yeah right. I'm telling them you know some girls they're chubby and then they just put Bring their the pants like yeah yeah like <laughs> that and then they look like they are like skinny but they are not so mm -hmm. there are some tricks girls are already using it but guys they don't even know they are guys so innocent know. you know yeah, so that's true. why we are trying to show stuff so mm -hmm. yani benim dediğim gibi yani farklı açıları kullanabilirsiniz onun dışında vücudunuzla alakalı atıyorum böyle biraz hani kiloluysanız oversize you know if, if they are like mm -hmm. kind of a little bit Mm -hmm. Big, you know, and then like the fat wise, you know, yeah. they can use like oversized like t-shirts. You're not gonna take picture like that, maybe like this angle, you know. Yeah, yeah. So you need to know the angles too. That's what we, I'm talking about. We call that angle frauding. Yeah. A lot of girls do angle fraud. So you'll see on apps like they're like this, or they um do really close up on the face, no body. Yes. Like girls uh, do it all the time. I mean. For me, if I see a girl, she only has face picture, not the body picture. Swipe left. I already know she's chubby. Mm -hmm. I already know, and then it's not my type, guys. So yeah. you need to know yourself first, and then your type. My type is not like that. I know I don't want to waste my time because, you know, I'm just gonna swipe left and then. Exactly, it's not worth yeah. it. So the second, second tip, tip <laughs> is to not have a long bio. A lot of guys, I've realized, will write out a full biography on themselves, talking about what they do, all this stuff, just a long paragraph. Like, hey, this is Okan, I used to live in Istanbul, yeah. I'm 28 years old, I'm engineer. Yeah, like, no, <laughs> don't, don't, don't put it like Don't that. do all that. You, you still want to have a bio, but I tell guys just three points about yourself. So three adjectives of what you like to do. So for me, I'll put like fitness, travel, and then like uh, entrepreneur or businessman or something like that to describe myself. And then in your bio, you want to have something to bait a reply. Mm -hmm. And when I say bait a reply, that means get girls to message you first. Yeah. So you can say anything. I'm not going to tell the base because, you know, that's secret. Yeah. But you want to have something to bait a reply so that girls will say, hmm, let me send him a message or a reply to your bio. Yeah. Yeah. Bio is important alongside with the pictures. So what I do with bio, I just put my Instagram, actually. <laughs> That's all. That that works. <laughs> but the thing is, if you make these changes, Ocon, 
you get good matches now just doing that. Uh -huh. But if you make these changes, you will get even more. Even more, yeah. Even more. I, I, I gotta try first. it though. So yeah, you already try it, so you know the differences. So mm -hmm. I trust you, man. Yeah. So what is the third one? The third one is no validation for the first message. So a validation is when you open with a compliment. Uh -huh. Like, oh, you're so beautiful, or you're hot, or yeah. fire emoji, right? Yeah. So don't do that. You want to keep the openers funny um, and just, like, simple. So, like, hey there, or say something about her bio or her pictures. Mm -hmm. Like, never go in and say, oh, my God, hey, you're so beautiful, or ah, oh, you're so hot. Because then the girl thinks that she's better than you, and... She's just going to put you in a box with all the other guys who are just giving her compliments. So you want to be different. You want to stand out. Yeah, that's yeah. true. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Yani bir kız gördüğünüz zaman sen çok güzelsin, sana çok bittim, ölüyorum, aşığım falan yazmayın diyor. Oyunlar oynayın diyor. Yani onların fotoğrafıyla alakalı atıyorum bir detay yakalarsınız. Onun hakkında bir soru sorabilirsiniz vesaire vesaire. Artık orası sizin birazcık daha yaratıcılığına kalmıyor. What's going to be your first message if you match with a girl? Yeah. What are you going to be say like like example wise, you mm -hmm. know? So what I would do is it depends on how attractive she is. She's really attractive. I'll find a picture or something. Let's say she has a picture of her cat or oh, bunny. Oh, sure. I was, I was just telling them maybe you can see the details from her pictures and exactly. then you can talk about it. So, yeah. That's what you should do. So, find a detail about her pictures and then start a conversation from there. Or, you know, I got a cat too. Or Oh, um, I'm cat daddy. <laughs> yeah. Or something regarding her pictures. It's all based on your mind. It's how creative yeah. you personally are. Yeah. But if I don't do that, then I'll just send a hey there. And that's hey it. And then if she's interested in you, she'll say hey back. And then yeah. from there, that's when you start the conversation. Yeah. yeah. I think if she likes you, you know she's going to reply you. But just don't put the weird message. Like, don't send the weird message. You can just say, like, hey there, you know, or like the something interesting you mm -hmm. found out from her pictures, you know. Just like simple things. That That's yeah. what I do. Yeah. You know, if she likes it, she's going to reply to you. What I Anyways. like to do sometimes too is I'll say, like finally somebody my type or oh, shit. you that's know good. something like that where that's good i'm not giving her too much validation but it's, it's interesting like oh what do you mean i'm your type you yeah. know what i mean stuff like that guys start taking notes i've been giving his secret sauce give it out guys <laughs> get these dates all right man the fourth one we have five i guess five all right so the fourth one is that you don't want to message too long on the app a lot of guys just message after message after message two three four five days on the app yeah. at the time no you want to move her off the dating app within five to ten messages yeah like pretty quickly because the longer you wait and message her on the dating app the more guys she's talking to no. the other guys taking her out on a day and she's already forgotten about you no yeah, yeah. so you for gotta sure. you gotta move fast for sure for sure yeah just don't waste time you know don't waste time. there's so many girls out there you're gonna mm -hmm. mess with so many girls but depends on you you know if you have a nice picture if you know how to take picture and nice picture professional picture and the biography like austin said you know mm -hmm. they're like all like a package you know you have to have package and then you can wait for the girl she replies you you know if yeah. you have the package it's easy if you don't have the package you gotta wait move her fast i call it a dating funnel mm -hmm. which means it's like a sales funnel but from dating perspective mm -hmm. so move them through your funnel fast what i like to do is i'll send them to my instagram yeah. and talk to them through dm i won't follow them i just talk to them no and the reason why i do that is because me they can see i'm a real person they see my followers makes me more attractive um and i can leverage my social proof and mm -hmm. stuff like that to make myself more credible yeah and then from there on instagram i'll set the date quick too for sure yeah. that, that's what i do actually like if i see a girl we match if i like her normally what i do i don't even text her on tinder i just dm her on instagram i don't follow too first i just don't want to follow don't follow the beginning yeah. just dm her you know like simple stuff just hey mm -hmm. or oh i found out from your tinder you know something like that i do yeah what do you do so I, i'll tell her to dm me oh so okay. here's, here's this can be this is just a side tip, I guess. So the reason why I tell them to DM me after on the app is because you always want the girl to invest a little bit more. Yeah. So she's messaging and then you want to get her to invest too. So yeah, hey, I'm not on here. Send me a message on Instagram. Mm -hmm. and so if she likes you and you had a good conversation, then she'll send you a message. And if she doesn't, then that's how you know she's a time waster. Yeah. And that was actually my tip number five is to avoid time wasters. So. When you're messaging a girl, if she's giving one word replies, showing like little no interest, but still talking to you. No. We call this an attention whore. 
Yeah. So this is somebody <laughs> <laughs> attention oriented. That's what they call it. Uh, yeah. So they want your attention. They you know the song. You just need attention. No, you don't, I don't. You don't know that song. No. <laughs> Maybe because of my accent. Yeah. You know that. You know that. I probably. Well, let, let me play. Let me play. <laughs> you just need attention. <laughs> oh yeah. Like you just. Charlie Puth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Charlie Puth. <laughs> Yeah, so they just want attention. Charlie that's said true, it that's first. That's true. That's true. That's and so for sure. you gotta weed out those girls who just want attention and find the girls who actually want to go out on a date and meet you. No, a lot, a lot of girls just want attention. So they they have no intentions or plans of ever meeting you. They're just messaging you. Yeah. So you gotta make sure that you don't come across those attention yeah. orders. When I was a teenager, I mean, I was like 19, 20. I was talking with a girl. You mm -hmm. know, there was no Tinder, no Bumble. It was just maybe Instagram that time. And then we were talking like one year in a row, you know, but we didn't see each other, but mm -hmm. we are like acting like a girlfriend and boyfriend, you know, it's mm -hmm. like, okay, when I'm going to see you, when I'm going to see you, and I was always like pushing, pushing her to meet. Mm -hmm. And then it, it never happened. I just waste one year, you know, one, so, a whole year talking to her. Whole, I mean, I was other girls too, but I was more into that girl because of she was like the cuter than others. She was one that could have been a catfish. Yeah. Two. She just wanted your attention. Maybe, maybe, yeah. I mean, I was a teenager, man. I, I didn't know anything. She just wanted your attention. I was skinny. I had like, all the acne all over my face. You yeah. Know? I've and, had the same thing, man, where I'm messaging a girl for two weeks, three weeks, and then when I finally set the date, disappear. Yeah. Or like they flay. That happens all the time. Yeah. All the time. So what do you call that? Uh, attention horse? Attention horse. Yeah, attention <laughs> horse. So. Watch out for those. Oh, do you have any other tips, by the um, way? We did say five. Do you remember any things like, maybe well, Tinder-wise, maybe relationship-wise, you know, it can be anything, just bonus, you know? Ah, uh, as a bonus? Hmm. I know a lot of guys can't do this, but what I like to do is I wait for the girls to message me first. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I do this is because I've realized the girls who message you first are the girls who are not attention whores and they're just physically attracted to you yeah. and they like you. Yeah. So. When you when you send out a whole bunch of messages, you'll you're gonna send out a lot of messages and it's gonna be a waste of time. So I try to save my time by making my pictures more attractive, by making my bio more attractive and getting girls to message me. And then when they do, I only message deal with those girls who message me. Mm -hmm. So that's what I recommend you guys yeah. do if you're able to do that. I know not every guy could do that. So you know my style, I just go out and then meet in person. Yeah, in person that, is your thing. That, that's why sometimes you go out together. Yeah. So you know when I see the girl, if she's looking at me, I just go like I say hi. Mm -hmm. you know? Hey. Yeah, it's man. been a while. We should go out soon, man. Yeah, we should, man. We got to. Yeah, he's working so hard, by the way. He's not going out. Last year, I don't know, we went out sometime yeah. and then just I haven't stopped. been out in such a long time. I think the last time I went out was probably Halloween. Halloween? Oh, wow. A long time. Wow, or maybe wow. my birthday, actually, January. Ah, oh, I, I see you on Yeah, it's birthday. been a long time, man. So, I gotta, we gotta go out again. Yeah, sure. I see you with a girl, though, not alone, though. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I'm never alone, man. <laughs> I always got to keep a girl on my side. Yeah, so my style is when I go out, let's say in downtown in a bar, I'm going to show you guys like which bar you can go in the Orlando area. Like I'm going to make another video for them. Mm -hmm. So when you go to bar, you know, I just like get my drink and then stay on the side and then just like to see the people if there is any attractive girls to me. Mm -hmm. And then if I find one and then if she's looking at me like two times, three times, you know, I already know she wants to meet with me, you know, mm -hmm. and then I just like, just watching her a little bit, if she has a boyfriend or no, you know, I don't mm -hmm. want to go to a girl if she has a boyfriend yeah. next to her. So I just watch a little bit and then I just say, oh, hi, how are you? You know, how's your day going, you know? Mm -hmm. And you start a conversation yeah. there and just... Yeah, that, that's really simple. You don't have to do any of those like Tinders, DMs, messages. Mm -hmm. you just go and get, get her Instagram and then text her Later. next day. Yeah. That's yeah. what I do. The beauty about dating apps though is that you can run a high volume. Yeah. So with That's in true. person, you go, you might just only one, two, three two, girls a night. Course. Yeah, I, I hate it. Yeah. When I go downtown, sometimes I didn't even see any attractive girls. I just waste yeah. my four hours. Whole that, night. That's another thing. Yeah. With the Tinder app, it's easy. You can just swipe him, you know, you see the girls. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I would say do both. Yeah. Do both if you can um, and leverage both, yeah. Yeah, but the, the main thing is like we are not just chasing girls all the time or like we are not trying to hang out with girls all the time. We have businesses, we have on time. Like it's not just about girls for us. We are mm -hmm. doing this video just because of your ask to me, actually, you know, mm -hmm. maybe it's like the same too. Like girls is not the priority for us because we already know the game and everything. And then this is like the real life. It's not like TV yeah. series or like, like a movies, you know, in real life, those things happen in that way, I mm -hmm. guess. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. So you got to be able to 
differentiate real life versus the movie stuff and have a purpose. Like focus on your business, focus on making money while also still doing your dating, but don't make it dating. Not like the first, not the first life. priority. You yeah. know? If you put in first, you're losing it, man. Everything you're losing it. What I would do is I would work all day, most of the day, and I would only see girls 8 p.m. or later. So, you know, I work as a, you know, engineer right now. I work nine to five. Mm -hmm. So I always have time after gyms, like 8 p.m., you know? Girls, when I hang out with me in like the midday, I say no. And then it's like more attractive to her. Mm -hmm. They think like, oh, he's busy. Like he's doing some stuff. Yeah. So they think it's like, okay, yeah, he's a businessman. He's making money, you know? He has his own time, so he doesn't, depends on me you know like yeah. like she thinks like that way you know if she thinks that way she's more attractive to you it looks high value yeah high value. That, that, that's why they call yeah. all right man thank you of course man all right yes, sir you gotta sing this turkish song right now what you know <laughs> <laughs> okay say ballı ballı ballı ballı <laughs> yenginiz heyecanlı oh that was too fast for me yenginiz yenginiz yenginiz heyecanlı yenginiz heyecanlı <laughs> Akşam ayı var mı? Akşam ayı var mı? You just told me to say something weird. I know you did. I know you did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure to follow Austin's Instagram, Austin's YouTube channel. Like I said, we already did video like an hour ago maybe, and then you guys check him out. When are you gonna release that video? Uh, that's gonna be this Sunday. So. This Sunday? Okay, so yeah, I'm fast. gonna tag this video too, so you're gonna find in the description. Mm -hmm. See you guys in the next video. Peace. Bye bye. Evet, şimdi tam videoyu bitiriyorduk. Alice beni aldı. Alice, how can I pronounce your name? Alice. Alice. Alice. Okay, Alice she has Wonderland. British accent. <laughs> can I get a coffee? <laughs> <laughs> like a, my sister. <laughs> I, I have some. I have some little bit. So where are we going, Alice? I don't know. Where? I don't know. You okay, yeah, I know the road, sir. <laughs> Okay, just make a left here. Öyle yani videoyu kapatırken hazır size Alice'yi tanıştırmak istedim. Tam da videonun konusuna örnek bir video olaraktan. Şimdi spordan çıktım, beni spordan aldı. Uh, we're gonna buy gifts for your sister. Your sister. And <gülüyor> <gülüyor> ben de kendime bir şeyler almak istiyorum. Öyle outlet'e doğru gidiyoruz. Neyse, görüşürüz. <gülüyor>